Hi, my name is Amanda Arnold. The Chippewa River, whose namesake is after the Saginaw Chippewa Native Americans, is a tributary of the Titabawassee River, which starts in northern Mecosta County. For years, the Chippewa River has been a favorite amongst the locals and college students for fishing, tubing, and canoeing. However, every summer brings the threat of high E. coli levels, which had the potential to sicken many of the residents in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. As pristine as we like to think the Chippewa River might be, Unfortunately, there are quite a number of pollutants which not only affect the health of the river, but the health of the surrounding community. In the early 90s, there were three major contributors to pollution of the Chippewa River, which were erosion, chemical runoff from farm fields, and fecal waste from the livestock who frequented the river. Since then, measures have been taken to prevent these sources of pollution from entering the river. Structures have been built to prevent erosion, fences have been constructed to prevent livestock fecal contamination, and watershed planners of the Chippewa River have worked with farmers to help decrease the amount of chemical runoff coming from their fields. Even though it may sound like the Chippewa River has been cleared of all harmful waste, other factors have led to the contamination of this body of water. One example can be seen every summer with the increase of college students tubing down the Chippewa with alcohol in hand. For more information on this story, we'll take you to Joe and Taylor. Thanks, Amanda. Hi, my name is Joe, and we're discussing E. coli. E. coli is a type of bacteria that occurs naturally in animal digestive systems and can enter waterways through a variety of ways, including animal byproducts, faulty septic systems, and surface runoff. It is important in our intestines, though, for production of vitamin K2. You ask who are most, most at risk? Children and older adults are. Symptoms are abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, fever, and fatigue. Elevated E. coli readings were taken by the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe, which recorded amounts of more than 130 parts per billion for a 30-day average. According to Michigan Department of Environmental Quality, if, if the 30-day geometric mean is above 130 parts per billion, then the water is considered unsafe for swimming. The readings were recorded at Meridian Park of 172 parts per billion. Pickens Field recorded 384 parts per billion and the Ch Chippewa River Stream Crossing recorded 198 parts per billion. These numbers were reported by Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe Water Quality Specialist, Carrie Paquette. These three places in the Chip River are considered unsafe for swimming. Hi, I'm Taylor Cry. Residents and students in Mount Pleasant know just how important the Chip River is to the community. The river provides inexpensive, fun activities like tubing, canoeing, and fishing that attract many tourists to the city. Companies that benefit from tourists include Floaters Tubing Company, Chippewa River Outfitters, and many other small businesses. People are less likely to rent tubes or canoes as the pollution in the river rises, hurting these businesses economically. The heat and amount of rainfall this summer contributed to the high levels of E. coli in the river. Often, signs were placed near the river by the Central Michigan District Health Department warning potential tubers to stay out of the water. People that chose to ignore the signs are at risk to experience the unpleasant symptoms of E. coli contamination. The consumption of alcohol has also contributed to the pollution of the Chip River. Students enjoy tubing down the river with beer in hand, but many empty containers end up being left behind. Things that are prohibited from the river are styrofoam or glass containers, kegs, and jello shells. Left behind containers causes the river to be unsightly and it poses a threat to the surrounding wildlife. Residents, students, and tourists are urged to be conscious of their effects on the river as it is a very important part of our community.